Hi, my name is Justine Harkness, and in this video, we'll look at how to predict how halogens direct substituents in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. As we had discussed in an earlier video, activators will direct ortho para, and deactivators will direct to the meta position. However, halogens are an exception to this rule. They're essentially the black sheep of the activator deactivator family. And let's think about why this is. If we consider a benzene ring with a halogen attached to it, say let's put chlorine on this ring. Chlorine is very electronegative, so it's able to withdraw electrons through the inductive effect. This pulling of electron density will make our ring less nucleophilic, and this is what makes it a deactivator but deactivates in this way. However, it also has lone pairs of electrons. It has three lone pairs for chlorine and really all of our halogens. These lone pairs can be given to the ring via resonance, and that will put partial negative charges on those ortho and para positions, and that's why halogens act as ortho para directors. So because halogens can both donate and withdraw electrons, they can act as both ortho para directors and deactivators. So let's apply this with some practice questions. So here we need to predict the products of the following reactions and also rank them in order of increasing reactivity. So let's take a look at our reactions starting with A. So here we have chlorine, which is an electron withdrawing group. But remember, the halogens do act as ortho para directors, so we would get an addition of our electrophile to both the ortho and para positions. Looking at B, we have an acyl halide as our group attached. These are electron withdrawing groups but they're also a meta director. So here we would get our electrophile added to the meta position. Looking at C, we have iodine, which is an electron withdrawing group, and it is an ortho para director, so we get the addition to those ortho in para positions. And finally in D, we have the OH group, which is an electron donating group, and also an ortho para director. So now we have to rank these in increasing reactivity. Now we have three electron withdrawing groups and one electron donating group. Our electron donating group will be the most reactive, so we're gonna start by putting it last. Now we need to consider our electron withdrawing groups. In terms of deactivation, acyl halides are much better deactivators than chlorine and iodine. So it would go as our least reactive. It's a better deactivator, so we have less reactivity. Now we have to compare chlorine to iodine. Now chlorine is more electronegative than iodine since it is further to the top of the periodic table. This will make it more electron withdrawing than iodine, so we'd have our chlorine containing ring as less reactive than our iodine containing ring. So when you're looking at the halogens, they will be ortho para directing, and in terms of how electron withdrawing they are, that will come down to their electronegativity. So the more electronegative the halogen, the more it withdraws electrons and the more it will deactivate that ring.